Hello green owls, greetings, salutations, Dee Dee here. I am doing two different unboxings. I've partially unboxed them um, just because I didn't want to bring the packaging upstairs. So I took the outer packaging off. I know what this one is in the white. I do not know what this one is. I don't remember what it is. I'm gonna sneeze sometime during this video. Excuse me. I hope I didn't blow the mic out. All right, let's get Ripper out because he is required. There's a Ripper. He is mandatory in this action, probably. All right, so how have you guys been doing? It is late summer now. We're after Labor Day in September. Uh, football has started, so I am excited about that, and baseball is in its last month-ish. Alright, uh, the outer packaging was not indicative of what's in here, I don't remember. Um, it's probably an Amazon order. Um, and so... There was a package inside the package, so I decided to not bring that up. Oh, ha! I know what this is. Ha! Okay. Uh, a little bit of the geek in me coming out. Uh, this is a new uh, tabletop card game. New to me. Uh, it's not new, new. Um, and this is an expansion pack for it. I have the deck uh, downstairs. We've been playing it, the main deck, core deck. We've been playing it for a few weeks. Um, actually should do a flip through of it, but it is epic. And this is the, these are four packs of Uprising expansion. Um, so we've got Kark, Xanos, Scaros and Wrath. So, there. That, that's what that is. The geek in me. And, onto this, which I'm 99% sure I know what it is. Somewhere under this tissue paper is a deck of cards. Hitting you not. Now we're switching directions, so I hope it arrives intact. It is an artisanal deck, indie deck. There it is. There. Okay. If any of you know what this is, there's a there's a cheat. This is a slow hauler deck. Hello, lovely. Hello, my peeps. This is my tribe. All right. So, we have a cloth. Let's see if we can get it all on the screen. Hey, we can. It says, slow hauler. And it's got the suits in the corners, vessels, which look like mason jars. branches, stones, and knives. Uh, 
vessels of water, branches, fire, knives, air, stones, earth. That's my guess. We've got some constellations going on around here. There's the scorp. And here is the eye. So you can see stones, knives, vessels, branches, and okay, so there's that piece. A little stringus, stringus among us. There's the deck. The book. There's the book. Slow holler on the spine. And it's got folded in end papers. That's how they decided to make it. And this is gray on charcoal or Taupe on charcoal with gold. Great lighting for this um, boxing. This is an unboxing. This is not a flip through. The book has a couple of paragraphs about each card. A sentence of about reversal. A couple of uh, scenics for the suits. So this is the suit of branches, and it is a pano. Branches, that's the branches. There's the majors are in the front of the book. We've renamed the suits and many cards in the deck often to make them more relatable and relevant. Many cards through the deck bear new titles that move beyond a gender binary and make room for varied experiences of gender. Name changes and card stories address concepts from a point of view that challenges the frameworks of patriarchy and capitalism. You can find an index of the renamed cards in relationship to traditional names on page 186. So the fool is called the fledgling, for example, right out of the gate. Seen the branches. Here is the panel for the knives. Here is the panel for the stones. That leaves vessels for last. It's a little odd in ordering for me and my the way I think of suit orders. There is the vesicles. Vessels. Pentacles, vesicles. And that's a storm and a monster and a town getting swept away. There's the monster coming out of the storm waters, sweeping the town away down the river. Alright, and it's got a list of the artists and what cards they worked on. Okay, let's see if there's anybody I recognize in the artist list. Hmm.
possibly Rachel Speck. That rings a bell. She's on the moon card. And I have a fascination with moon cards. It's very likely I have come across her in my research. So the book is numbered. The book has 191 pages. And there is not an, a table of contents, so you do still have to flip through, but it is numbered. So once you get your bearings, you can kind of have a sense. And I love that it's deck size. I think that was really smart design work. Okay, now we're getting to the meat. This is the deck. It is celloed. Let's pop it open carefully. Come to mama. Gotta put Ripper down before I rip my nose off. All right, we are jailbreaking out of the cello. And it is a charcoal. It's a gold and gray on charcoal. It's freaking lovely. It is not reversible. You can see the difference. Where is it? It's not reversible. It is not reversible, but it's pretty darn close. The cut on these cards is nice and pro. It's luxe. It feels nice. Thickness is nice. They've got a nice bend to them. So you can hear that a little bit. Let's do a I don't want to, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm going to look at cards before I shuffle. <laughs> There's the fledgling or the fool. Wow, oh, that's really pretty light. I'm not showing every card. The kindred instead of the empress. Alright, everybody loves this card, I think. It's so modern and luxe. Wheel of Fortune, Ouroboros. Above and below. Here is the red thread connection in the packaging. It's well thought out. Muerte, the death card. Lovely. Here's the card from, yeah, Spec. I definitely have looked at this card, so I probably, that's where I got the name correlation. Instead of judgment, you have the awakening. And here's another Ouroboros, the world. The apple is cut vertically, not horizontally. And it's got botanicals that look like the seasons around it. Here's the Ace of Branches. It's got a, it's very eerie. That's eerie. 
these branches fire here's the five of branches Ace of Knives, now it's getting a little glary outside, Five of Knives, oops, Okay. Alright, so the court cards um, have been reclassified, um, as it said, to remove gender binary indicators. So we have the student, we have the traveler, We have the architect. Oops, I'm out of frame. I was busy looking at the card. It's an ul. And we have the visionary. So student, traveler, architect, visionary. And we got two ulis. Ace of stone. Literally, wall. There's the this is an armadillo and a geode, I'm guessing, without looking at the book. And then we have Mermaid for Student of Vessels. Traveler of Vessels. Architect of Vessels. And the Visionary of Vessels. Someone creepy, taking a creepy bath, capturing tears from the eye in the creepy hand. Creepy. That is the card name. This is the creepy visionary. Awesome! I can't wait to look at all of these cards with you in a future flip through. Um, but right now, uh, let's do an overhand. These just, oh, one came out. What was it? Uh, the full. All right. All right. And now I'm going to sh shuffle. Oh, that's a nice, not real even. Does bridge come on? Come to mama. Let's go reverse and get that cup out of there. It arrived with a cup. This distribution was a little better. It's not, it doesn't shuffle perfectly, but it shuffles well enough. Bridge is excellent. And we got the two of knives on top now. Take a look at that. We'll flip to the backs. Come to the dark side. The dark side of the slow holler tarot. Still available. If you haven't picked it up yet, fall is a perfect time to embrace a deck like this. The coloration, the mood, um, the natureness of it, I, I think is really interesting that um, 
is a deep sense of going back to nature. Um, there's some lovely uh, lichen on a tree. It's just really pretty. And the color scheme, um, the grays, the whites, the reds, the golds. I mean, just freaking absorb that for a second. Check out the slow hauler tarot. I have been haunting this deck, stocking this deck for four or five months now, and I went ahead and pulled the trigger. And I have zero regrets. Packaging, awesome. Be happy, be healthy. Learn something new every day. Look forward to future flip through on this deck. Ciao for now.